Hey there YouTube fans, AC Productions here. Today I'm going to be showing you on how to install this quick release helmet chin strap, which is right here. And uh, you're wondering why am I showing a video how to do this? Well, it's this is pretty much for people who have like a very like sensitive neck. So when installing your helmet, you know, you are very close to your neck and you know, for some people you get a gag reflex or you know, stuff like that. Or for, for people who have really big hands and can't get the strap through the loops or it, for people who get frustrated really easily. For me personally, I would say I get frustrated really easily and I really I'm really sensitive in my neck uh, so every time I put this on and I did try it having it with the d-rings putting it on and being that close to my neck I always have a gag reflex and feel like throwing up honestly so I did have this particular quick release set on my old helmet which is a showy helmet which is right over there so let me show you before we install it on this helmet let me show you how it looks like on that helmet and this will work for any helmet it doesn't have to be this helmet or that helmet for any helmet it will work for all right so here is my old showy helmet that I still wear when I'm riding the R3 and as you can see here is the part where it, it uh, snaps into we got this big plastic piece here and then we have this adjustable piece that goes on the longer part of the strap and then when it's putting on your helmet you just hold this piece and then just like a, just up a snap in and there you go easy peasy and and then when you need to remove your helmet just go ahead and press these two parts and release it so let's go ahead and install the new helmet and let me show you how it you know on the new helmet how it works it's pretty much how I just showed you there and yeah so let's get started on installing this quick release all right so so first things first, let me show you the tools that you need to install this quick release. There is none. That's the best part of this thing. I don't think I have any video out there that you don't need some tools to install it. So let's go ahead and get it out of the package uh, and, and get it installed in the helmet. All right, so let's get that first part installed. We're gonna have this piece right here. And then we're gonna have the buckle part, I guess you would call this piece. All right, so to install this part, we need to get this part in first. So grab your, your strap, the one with the D-rings, move the D-rings up. We're gonna install this behind the D-rings. So just get it through the loop like this, then slide it over until you have that part in like this. So it should like look like this on your helmet. Next, we're gonna grab our buckle piece. It doesn't really matter on which way you install it, but I'm gonna install it with the product name, I guess, on the outside, and I think there's like a serial patent number on this side. So, and if yours doesn't say anything, then you can install however you want. Uh, if, it if it didn't say this, I would probably put it on the side that didn't say anything. All right, so next, you want to make sure that you uh, install it this way. So with these two pieces facing down, don't install it this way because it won't work. It has to be this way. All right, so let's grab this. Then you're going to slide it in and just push it in all the way until it locks in place. So you may have to do some force. I'm trying to do this with the camera in front of me, so it may be a little difficult for me. All right, I think that's pretty much it there. All right, so you, when you're installing it, you got to make sure until you see the, the little pieces come out, the little silver bits come out on this end over here. So let me go ahead and zoom in for you guys. So once you see those little silver bits in this area, then you know that it's installed correctly. So I'm going to go ahead and move the camera out of my way so I can really get it in there, and then I'll show you how it looks like. All right, guys, now this piece is already done. You can go ahead and put, push that inside. Next, we're going to get the longer strap. All right, so make sure that you have it nice and flat. Let me zoom out a little bit more for you guys. All right, so you want to make sure that it's nice and flat like this. You don't want to have it twisted like that. So nice and flat. Next, we're going to grab this piece. Now, when we install this piece, you want to make sure you have it up like this. Don't have it the other way because it's not going to work. You're going to have your, your chin strap all twisted and stuff when you install it onto the, um, the helmet. All right. So we're going to grab this and then we are going to just, you know, loop it in there. So just get this part, put it up through here. Now, this is the part where you want to wear your helmet and kind of adjust it to where it feels comfortable for you. So I'm just going to kind of just, you know, just put it like lightly here, I guess, and then I'll try out the helmet and then adjust it. Once you get it like that, push the, the little um, thing here, push it up, and then just loop it through it. And there you go. Should look like that when you're done. Okay, now to snap it into the buckle, you got it here. Go ahead and push it in through here. Wait for the, the, the click and you'll be secure. There you go. It is definitely not going to go anywhere. All right, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and try out the helmet and really adjust the, the clip to where I feel where it's comfortable for myself. So you guys do the same. So and then to uh, un undo the, the buckle, just press these two points and squeeze them in together. Squeeze them in together and then it'll just release just like that pretty simple so this allows you to get your helmet on and off fairly quickly so when installing it guys let's just have my helmet on just grab it and then just look for the belt buckle snap it in and you are good to go really simple just make sure it's you know not too close to your neck uh just to give you a little bit of you know breathability i guess you know i don't like things touching my neck too much because it just makes me want to throw up so this is perfect and then when you're ready you know, to uh, undo your helmet. Just go ahead and press those two sides. Just push them in and then pull on this part. I usually try to grab it from the metal, push it, and there you go. Super simple. And this is also perfect for 
the times that you go ride it and you totally forget to you know do your strap you know you're able to pull either you could actually you know if you're really skilled enough i would say you know you could actually you know uh you know go to a good speed let go of the handlebars and actually you know put this in real quick and then continue riding you know compared to really fidgeting around with the d-rings so that's another good thing about another good benefit about having the buckle thing all right gonna go ahead and then take this off Alrighty, guys so that pretty much is it about how to install this Alrighty, guys so that pretty much concludes on how to install this quick release buckle for your helmet chin strap so if you guys are wondering about these wires this is for the new uh edge uh from cardo that i installed a video is coming up soon on on this department on why i have them hanging out this pretty much concludes this video hopefully you guys enjoyed it if you did please smash that like button if you have any questions leave them in the comments below if you know anyone else that's looking to do something like this or is doesn't even know that this thing exists uh please share my video it'll great it'll help me out a lot and then it'll help out that person that's struggling to get their helmet on as they don't have to struggle anymore you know you could get something like this and it'll help them out a lot on you know installing uh getting their helmet on and taking it off you know fairly easy and quickly i also i have a new icon at the bottom of my video part with a dollar sign in the center if you guys click on it you guys can greatly help with my channel uh and that'd be amazing it's called a super thanks also if you guys haven't yet subscribed don't forget to subscribe hit that notification bell that way you guys are up to date with my latest install and if you dislike the video smash that dislike button let me know in the comments below of what you disliked about my video and this will help me improve on future videos all right guys take care thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one